scientists have finally seen what could not have been seen, a black hole. As fascinating is the fact that we can now see a black hole, the story behind this achievement is even more fascinating. It's a victory of science in the political era of science denial. It's a victory of diversity and inclusion in the era of homophobia and sexism. It's a victory of free software in the era of, well, <laughs> we live in the era of free software. The image of Povel is the result of a very diverse group of people from around the globe working together to achieve a common goal. 40% of this team is women. What's even more incredible is that one of the two faces of this story is a woman, Katie Bowman, and the one other one is a gay astronomer, Andrew Kell. Bowman was responsible for one of the many algorithms that were used by the Event Horizon Telescope project to fill the gaps in the data they gathered from different physical telescopes which were installed around the globe. The project used three different imaging software libraries to achieve the feat. Out of the three, two were fully open source libraries. Sparse Lab and Atim. Kel was the author of Atim. Source code for both Sparse Lab and Atim is available as free software on GitHub under GNU GPL version 3 license. Those who don't know what is GNU GPL version 3, it's a license that was written by Richard M. Stallman. It's an open source or free software license. Well, Richard wears many hats. He's the author of the GNU GPL license. He created the GNU project and he also founded Free Software Foundation. One of the beauties of GNU GPL version 3 license is that if someone uses your code and improves it, they are required to release the code of those changes. As an author of the original code, you will not be logged out of your own work, which also means that the project keeps getting better and better and better. And one of the best examples of GNU GPL license software is Linux. It has become the most widely used software in the world. It powers everything all the way from supercomputers to smartphones and even sensor, Nest, everything that you use. Almost everything is powered by Linux today. So when you look at Powell or this black hole, it's the story of this black hole is more phenomenal than it appears. And now, you know one more story.